Hello everyone and welcome to Module 7. Uh, so here we go for the week. Uh, this is going to be an interesting week about uh, looking at social media in the classroom. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm going to ask everybody to complete the online evaluation form. It should be available right at the top at MyKinesius. Um, I'm saying should because there were some changes and who's in charge of this at the college, so I'm not sure <laughs> if everything will be as smooth as it has usually been, but we'll see. So hopefully that will be available for our week seven. I do appreciate your comments there. I always really read them carefully, uh, so it does mean a lot to me. You'll also do a little bit of this in week eight as we reflect on the course, uh, so I really appreciate your, your thoughts. So we're gonna read the articles and investigate videos that contain in the folder about social media and, and education. A little bit of a different style of post. I kind of have this introduction here about social media in the classroom, so please read all that. Uh, I put some APA references there and this like visual. But then I want you to kind of consider about, you know, what's the value of including social media and education projects and effective ways to uh, do this. Now again, depending on what your grade level the subject is this this varies tremendously if you're elementary school obviously you're not gonna have students uh, posting messages to uh, Twitter but how can you use those same tools perhaps as a way to engage parents or engage the community and things of those nature so um, while it might not initially feel to you especially in the lower grades that this relates to you but it certainly it certainly does uh, so please think of that in, in mind uh, so that's all gonna be done by Wednesday October 12th okay now we also have these deliverables that are due by Sunday. Okay, so here's the deliverables. I'm going to ask you to prepare an elevator speech. You have a little bit of a choice here. After you've gone through all that material, I'll go to the wall in a second. I'm going to ask you to prepare an elevator speech. Two minutes, even a little bit longer, you know, sort of pitching your ideas about social media uh, to perhaps a colleague or an administrator. This could be a podcast, an audio you know, recording, a screencast, or so use some of the tools that we've uh, done today and if you can include a rationale with the file of, of, of what you're trying to accomplish here that would be wonderful a paragraphs fine or you can design a sort of a graphic organizer using Bloom's taxonomy or the Dale's comb experience or the ladder to the technology ladder um, basically how you would use those tools within your own discipline and grade level again use any tool you like um, we could do a little bit with lucid chart it's a great graphic organizing tool I mentioned that a little bit when we talk about the uh, Common Core Close Reading Tools. Uh, we do more Lucid Chart at EDT 506. Uh, that's a great one that I love for great graphic organizers. Uh, but anything you really, really like, go right ahead and have some fun with that. And obviously, post reply to other students' discussions. Now, one more thing. You're going to finally now create your needs assessment based upon your observations, your field experience, your, your interview. Uh, you know, This can be a narrative, meaning like a paragraph format. It could be a matrix, like a table of ideas of things you think that are needed, or it could be a combination of you know written text with a you know table or a matrix, sort of detailing you know your thoughts and what this institution perhaps needs in terms of technology integration. We're gonna ask that you share it with your institution, your 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 cooperating individual, and post you know the details of that exchange. How how did that go? You know what was the reaction to your findings? Okay, so you're gonna submit that to, submit that to the assignment week. Uh, drop but also you know add this exchange to the week eight wall as well so we can all get a sense of it okay so let's go into Edmodo uh, so there's my hello post there's the course evaluation just a reminder of what's going on here the needs assessment drop the social media drop and the uh, post okay now let's go into the folder So here's the folder for the week. I have a lot here for you. And some of this at the very top is sort of like the newest, you know, within the past year. Uh, there hasn't been a lot updated in the past year. I was always trying to keep things fresh. Uh, but these are kind of like the greatest resources of social media in the classroom. Uh, a lot is done by Edudemic. They have a lot of teacher guides, six ways you can change your classroom. Pin Pinterest, great. Uh, so just kind of keep uh, all that in mind. All right, there are some policies about social media from other schools. Uh, barriers to using it, how to, teacher guides, video here, um, protection and digital citizenship, elementary classroom, great for those younger folks there, right? Um, higher ed, this is kind of a neat one on the periodic table of social media. Okay, some great uh, videos by George Siemens on all this stuff. So you have a lot of really kind of nice things to go through here. Uh, so you pick and choose what, what you like uh, that is more relevant to what uh, your area is. Okay, uh, so I'm also going to create another video about using how I use social media, so I'll post that as well. Okay, all right, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye bye.